Hey, every hey everybody. I'm going to do a quick recap summary on our um, Zoom today of about, I apologize, uh, on uh, Lofty today about how we need to be going through and handling leads. And I am doing that with fake information so that we can keep this. It's uh, my own file, but I've changed the email and phone number to be fake so that we can post this wherever. So here's what we need to be doing uh, every step of the way when we are handling leads in Lofty. Um, I need to go back to my own uh, file there. Um, we're going to go from new through the pipeline. Main goal here is that you need to be filling out all of the information and keeping it up to date and um, definitely need to be working from within lofty so when you get a new lead and it comes to you in i can't move it back to new lead status but come to you at new lead uh, the intention is that when you accept a lead off of the blast that you are going to call them within a business day we know and have discussed that the faster you respond to them the more likely you are to convert that lead so the expectation is that you call them immediately and definitely no longer than within 24 hours. Our uh, system will now remove that lead from you if you have not done so within 24 hours. However, so you're gonna pick up the phone and call and you're gonna do it right here. You're going to click call. You are going to outbound call that person. This one's not gonna work for me. You are going to make notes here. You can send a text from here, right? Once you do that, it will record here. If Lofty does not see that you are doing that, you are not collecting information that the way that it's required for our system to work to automate things for you um, as quickly as possible. So all calls, text, and emails should originate from your client here. As you're working with them, let's say you've uh, made a call, you're going to, for the first week or so, you're going to be calling following up with the text, emailing, uh, maybe the first time you don't leave a voicemail, second time leave a voicemail. We've already talked about this, but you're going to be circling through call, text, and email. Call, text, and email. In your calls and texts, you're going to remind them that their email, email from us may be going to their junk folder. So please make that your habit. Um, if you remind them here and here, they will eventually find it here. The smart plan, if you do not know what it is going to do, you can go to settings, go to smart plans and see exactly what is going to happen for new leads um, so that you will know. You can also look in your timeline and see what is happening. So you will see when somebody came in, how did they come in? You should be looking at the source of that, right? So their source over here, uh, apparently I came in through Google. Knowing where they came in is how you're going to change your your tone with them. Hey, I see that you found us on Google. You were looking at 123 Main Street, et cetera. You're going to understand that before you ever reach out to them. Um, once you talk with them or once you start attempting to contact them, you are going to move them to attempting contact. And then on the daily basis, you're coming in, you're looking at your tasks. Remember tasks. You are attempting contact, um, uh, you're gonna go through those, you're gonna go through your tasks and you are going to check them off once you've completed them and you are not gonna leave this lead until you've set up the next task. So the next task may be call them tomorrow, email them tomorrow, uh, uh, text them tomorrow. That's what you're going to do and this is going to be your circle. At the end, you'll start working out of tasks and you will need to keep that up to date. So I'm not going to tasks right now, um, but that is the intention is that you will start with tasks and work through leads from there. So once you've done attempting contact, you'll be doing that for potentially uh, a week, two weeks. And at some point, if you've not made any contact or had any response, you are going to start what we've called dear Johnning them, right? Now notice, you're also going to be using templates for emails and texts when they are available. They are found here. 
they are in a folder ap appropriate to their pipeline. So new leads, look at this. We've got a lot of things you can just assign to them. Some of them are going to happen in the smart plan. So you've got to be looking at the timeline before you randomly reach out to people. You are also, when you once you've started attempting contact, same thing. You're in attempting contact. You can see, oh, they've not been responding. Let's see what's the beginning of our dear John, right? Um, so you could see, hey, some time ago, blah, blah, blah. It's possible you're going to junk mail. I've already written these things out for you guys. So it should be as easy as possible. Be sure you know what the smart plan does so you're not resending form emails. Um, and again, you need to be calling them, not just calling once, leaving a voicemail, and then starting to rely on email and text. Calling will get you through. They get used to seeing your telephone number. So for every step of the way, including under contract, et cetera, as you go through the whole pipeline, you have templates here. You have your templates for team resources here. So you should be familiar with these, but you've got commercial lenders, conventional lenders, property managers list. I am updating this on a regular basis. Please stop using any other version you might have saved somewhere else or that you might find in our forms folder. This is what we are to be using now. We are getting everything automated and we're going to continue with that. Uh, but we've got to have everybody working from the same focus at the same time in the same manner before this is going to work. So you're going to use those templates. You also have templates, I think, in text messages. No, nope, not from here. Um, so, but you should be texting from here. You should be calling from here. There's no reason that anybody shouldn't know how this works, but if you are, some of us are not using this so effective today. Um, if you're not, if you don't know how to use this, uh, make sure in your next one-on-one -on -one or our next team meeting that we go through it because it's expectation that you are using it. You're going to start losing leads if you are not using it. Um, so as you go through, check your, some, check your leads engagement, see that they have, oh, they, this person doesn't have an alert, set them up an alert. They should get one with their smart plan, but this is me, right? So I'm on this, uh, but it turned off. Uh, it's going to be reassigned because uh, it's, so it's probably got blasted out to one of you guys because nobody had talked to it in a while, right? And my multi-listing plan got paused because of the smart plan that's kicking off. So it's a good demonstration of what you're going to see, right? I got a text that says this is going to be reassigned because it's been 20 hours and it sees that I haven't made a call to this person. Um, so it's uh, if you get this in a blast, you know that that's working. So again, you're going to move down from attempting contact to appointment set if you set an appointment. And then as you finish those tasks from your appointment, you will move them to appropriate, whether it's hot, showing, warm or cold. Um, and from one of those three, probably from hot, you'll move to showing. And as you go from showing into under contract, you should be going to pending. When you close on closing day, there are multiple things you should do, but you should move this lead to closed. Um, you should also, um, that, that will trigger something that in 30 days will ask you if this is going to become a repeat client and it will go through some routines for us. I'll come back to this maybe a little bit later. The other thing you need to do when you get your lead is to go in and make sure that everything is filled out, right? So, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to edit. So you go in here and you can edit details and you need to make sure this is all correct. You get a new phone number. If they are opted in, if they are going to be receiving information from you, if you have their address, a mailing address, or if they give you a property address that they already own that we might be listing, it goes here. Um, anything else that you get, if you get their birthday, you don't have to ask for those things, but their source, you know where they came from. If you find out it was different, change it. Um, they will get maybe tags depending on how they came in. They will, um, if they give you a buying time frame, it'll come in that way. You can add it if you need to. We're not using that a lot right now. But using this pre-qualified yes, no, or NA is important. Um, it helps for you so we can look at how many people are pre-qualified. And as you work with lots of leads, 
or um, or somebody else gets your lead and you are you know handing off to somebody else, their information should be here. You should also attach their pre-qualification to their file once you get a copy of it. If they're with a buyer's agent, then you need to make sure that you find out if they're under an agreement and address that, right? Um, so I'm going to move mine to NA. Uh, there's a Calendly link here. Craig City is something for me. This is a separate mailing address for them. If they were doing an opportunity zone, these are some other unique things to me. There is up here, let me see where it is because we're not doing this yet. And I know I've mentioned it. We need to be filling out the segment and it may not be here in the edit because I'll show you where it is, right? Um, so segments right here. I marked myself. I've been a 2004, 24 closing, a 2023 closing. This is how we're going to look back at the end of the year and stimulate our potential repeat clients. So I would like to ask each of you to go back to each of your 2023 closings and 2024 closings and check the right thing that applies. Also make sure that every one of your leads that you're working with right now you are checking the things that apply to them. I know this isn't easy. They move the order around. And so you have to go look at each of these items. But what, however somebody is investing, it needs to be checked here. This will allow us to market to people in large groups and get you more deals or get us more listings in the future. Um, I've got something here for Spanish speakers. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, Hispano hablantes is a, a way to say that in Spanish. Um, so we know somebody speaks Spanish. We may need to know that. Other things are useful for us if I'm putting in um, realtor leads. So if I'm working on attracting somebody to real, I will put them at real attraction. If I have somebody who is a referral partner, uh, realtor, I will check this. A referral partner to whom I send business or or maybe a loan officer or somebody like a, a sewer guy who sends me referrals of people buying, I will mark this. Um, that allows me to reach out to them once a year and maybe do a, hey, how are you doing? How's your business going? It's a, just a way to keep things live. Um, real realtors, you guys should all be checked here when you're in my file. But I meet real realtors from all over the world. So I like to mark them and then I tag them with where they're located. So when I have a referral to give away, I can find them easily. Um, if it's just a homeowner and not an, an investor, here you go. We've got some of those leads that have come in actually as referrals. Somebody who's a vendor and partner. This you don't have to worry about. That's something with me. AI contacted doesn't really apply to us because AI speaks to homeowners, not investors. Past clients, I'm going to put myself as a past client. These are all our past clients, anybody who's ever closed with us. So when you're doing your 2023 or 2024 closing, uh, you should mark that somebody is a past client. If somebody is a realtor, I would also mark them here because they may not be any of the other categories. And this is our generic realtors list. Um, our team should be marked here. Uh, bad leads, uh, just so you know, should be leads you can't get in contact with because you have no way. There is no working email or telephone number. If one or the other is working, you should get in contact with them with the other and follow up and to correct that telephone number or find out that they don't want to work with us and then uh, need to contact. That's an AI thing uh, that I couldn't take out. So please start assigning the appropriate segments to every lead you're talking with. Each time you go through a lead, you need to make sure that they are absolutely filled out correctly through to closing. And then at, at closing, you will be getting a task. And with every time you go through and do these tasks, do these uh, files, you're going to put your task, the next task that's coming up for me, right? So in my case, I'm at smart plans right now. Look, here's transactions and docs. I could upload a pre-approval here. Um, so we have share those documents. You can also put them in your Dropbox um, folder, which you should be using. Uh, but if I go to activities, you can see I'm going to be reassigned to somebody unless I make a call. So I'm going to also, this, I'm leaving this and I'm going to make a next task for myself. 
could be to follow up on training with your team after the 313 short version of lead documentation and handling with new templates and requirements for documentation and automated smart plans, right? I'm gonna say that's a call. I'm gonna say it's a specific time. You guys should be doing this too. You can set a reminder for wherever you want. I only do it because I am not, I can't even get down there right now. So I'm not gonna set one uh, because of my panel here. So there, I can do it now. So I can say reminder by SMS. That's when I need it. I need it at five minutes before it's due time. I'm gonna save that, right? Oops, I didn't pick a date. So I'm gonna go back, pick March 13th. There we go. So now I'm gonna say, this is done. I saw that one, right? Now I'm gonna also call myself or attempt to call myself and say that I talked or say that I had no answers because that's appropriate. Writing, logging a call. All right, so now I did that. I'm gonna say text message reminder and see if I can, there's no, there's team. Look at that, here's your team, it's team, whatever I wanna send, right? First attempt, new lead. I can add more of these. I'm gonna ask you, this one's assigned to junior. So it's gonna go out that way, it's gonna fail. But anyway, I did it. And so now it won't bother me anymore. So guys, please be sure you are doing all the new things we've talked about in team meetings in the training. And I've got to stop sharing right now. Hopefully it will uh, stop recording and training is over.